you how we handle a chicken. I've got a Cornish cross, it's eight weeks old, uh, dead. And we're gonna go from the scalder, which it's a couple degrees over temperature right now, but you wanna target between 145 and 150. I'm at about 152 right now. Normally I would do two of these at a time, but for the sake of the video and that these are jumbo birds, I, uh, I don't wanna put two of them in a pluck at the same time anyway. Um, but you're gonna keep them bouncing around in here a little bit, stirring them. I'm just using a, I don't know, a homemade pusher, uh, the charcoal one that I made. Anyway, um, keep them going until either the wing feathers pull out really easy or the skin pulls right off a toe like that. So I would say that this one is probably ready for the plucker. And you might want to wear gloves when you do that because they're kind of hot. So I'm going to turn on the water in the plucker, then turn the plucker on itself. We'll call that one good. If there's any little bits of feathers here and there, that's okay. You can pick them out as you're doing the rest of the process here. So then I'll move them over to the table. And like I said, I'm going to start by just picking out any obvious feathers or the skin off the toes and that that got missed in the plucker. But overall, he's pretty clean. So the first thing that I do is take the feet off. And I start by making a score like that. And you really shouldn't touch any bone. Your knife will stay sharp for a long time when you're, if you're cleaning chickens the right way. Okay, same thing on the wing tips. We don't need those on the carcass. So we put those into a pot for soup stock. Um, another one. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna circle around to the, the front of the bird and I'm gonna grab a chunk of skin like this, make a little slice. And all I'm gonna do in here is separate the, uh, the crop. The crop is always gonna sit over on this side of the bird's breast and it's right there. It's kind of a slippery little bugger. And I'm doing this backwards so that you can see what I'm doing. So kind of not the orientation I'm familiar with. Then get underneath and grab his trachea and uh, esophagus and get everything in there loosened up. <laughs> Okay, we're pretty loose. Got all those things, uh, the crop and the esophagus and trachea are all freed right there. So now I'm gonna flip the bird around and um, I, I think I gotta do this one from the backside or I won't, I won't know. So don't cut into the intestines, just make a little nick. And then uh, depending on how little your hands are, you might not need to open it up all the way. This is a giant bird, so. Some of them are a lot smaller than this. And I'm gonna reach all the way up into the chest cavity where the vascular material is, the lungs and the heart. Um, if you wanna save the gizzard, it's right there. We'll go through the guts in a second. But, um, let me get all this out. So I got all of the, most of the material pulled out there. And now what I'm gonna do is take a little, a little triangle of skin where the intestine is still connected down to the bunghole right there. And I'm just gonna cut that skin off. And I'm sure Joel Salatin will be freaking out because I'm wasting all the fat, but there's your gizzard, if you wanna save that. Here's your liver and the, and the gall bladder, the bile, you see that color? If you see any of that in the carcass, get it out of there and hose it, hose it, hose it. Um, there's your liver and there's your heart. All this goes in the gut bucket. And then all we have left to do is, these are the testicles right there. And get those out of there. They, they like to stick to the, uh, the back. 
and then you got to get in here and get the lungs out. These little buggers like to stick to the ribs. Okay, there's the second lung. And we're going to just do a double check in here. I got a couple little pieces that stuck up in the front of the esophagus and we're pretty much clean. A couple little pieces in there that I'm going to continue to get out. I'm going to rinse this out with the hose and then I'm going to throw it in my ice bucket over there with with all my other birds. So that was our way or my way of processing a broiler bird and I hope it's the shortest one on YouTube. Oh yeah. My wife said one of the things that I haven't done yet is we cut the tail off for the soup stock pot. It's also got this little gland on here that is kind of oily and uh, can give an off flavor to the bird if you don't take it off. And then the neck is the other thing that we put in the stock pot. If you're marketing these, you might want to leave this part on. Um, it gives you a little bit of extra weight to your carcass and your customers might want it. But these birds are for us and this is how we like it. So in the stock pot, I'm gonna rinse this out with a hose real good. And in the bucket with the ice water. Have a good one.